Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to another video. Now, I wanted to talk about King Beezer's birthday. It seems he had a BD lunch and he took the ferry to Iconsiam, which is the biggest mall in Bangkok. Now, if you look at any other birthday celebrations with, you know, Foodie Beauty's uh, ex partners, Nads had it really good, right? He had a very lavish presents given to him, like that iPad hundreds of dollars given to him you know day after day every couple of days for smoke cigarettes for his well-being and comfort and when i mean that i mean i just mean the powder that's that's i'm just gonna be honest with you now king beezer uh he ain't really having it good but then when i say that on the flip side he actually is having it good because when you think about it what is king beezer paying for is he paying for the beats at condo nope Foodie Beauty is paying for that. Is he paying for the SUV in Kuwait? Nope. Foodie Beauty is paying for that. Is he paying for this Thailand trip and the hotel that they're held up in? Nope. Foodie Beauty is paying for that. So I can say, okay, maybe he didn't have the best birthday. He had a B-day lunch at, of course, the poutine place that they went to previously, which is Bangkok Poutine, which is a Canadian restaurant. Once again, 4.7 out of 5 stars, which is amazing they say it's very authentic poutine but i mean like them cheese curds ain't really curding and the gravy looks a little bit cold i wouldn't call that authentic poutine to be honest with you and then of course taking the ferry i mean uh it's not expensive right and you can see the grand palace right there bada bing bada boom and then it takes you to icon siam and um, this is, this seems like a vlog that is very minimalistic in terms of effort as well as money. Not that you need a lot of money to make a very good vlog, but I'm just saying usually are you think to or expect that based on what she said a year ago about how she will be pampered and in a very lavish lifestyle that this guy would be able to provide something more than Taking the ferry to Iconsium, maybe taking the ferry to Iconsium and then going to the Gucci store, going to Hermes, not Hermes, Hermes, and other things. But it's not like that. Like reality sets in, right? Going to the Louis Vuitton store, etc., etc., etc. But reality trumps all. Now, not that I'm hating on simplistic vlogs. Simplistic vlogs are pretty good. I mean, as long as you make a, a vlog good, you know, the, the visuals match the music, the tone, the setting, uh, the feeling that you get from it. But that is not something that Foodie Beauty is giving off when she when she makes these vlogs. Like these vlogs are very low bar, low, low effort. And it tells like, look at that. Bottega uh, Veneta, very nice designer. I'm sure there's tons probably have, uh, they already have Louis Vuitton, they, they already have Gucci, they they probably have anything and everything in this biggest mall in Thailand, come on, where you can not only sail into, but you can arrive by car, like that mall is huge, look at that, that is incredible, but hey, that's neither here or there, all I want to say is, hey, King Beezer might have not having it the great, having like a lavish present, or maybe she did, maybe she just didn't mention it in this vlog, maybe she will do a live stream or a video, be like, hey, here is your presents, King Beezer, you never know, um, it could be done, I mean, of course, but as it stands right now, it seems Nads had it the best, <laughs> and whatnot, but uh, we shall see, but with that said, once again, it's not like King Beezer is having it bad. Like, the guy is being pampered. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for a, another live stream from me. We got a lot to talk about. And uh, Foodie Beauty is still stuck in Thailand waiting for her visa application to go through. Whether she overstayed her welcome in Kuwait. Being there for six months, I have no idea. But there's speculation on that. Or maybe she successfully had gotten her application renewed while inside the country. I don't know. Um, there's lots of speculation on that as well, but what I do know, what I do know is time will tell and I'll be here to give the two cents and the 411 on the situation. Anyways, if you like this, smash that like button, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on this entire situation and on King Beezer's birthday, which was yesterday, October the 4th, 2023. I'd love to hear from you and uh, I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.